Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. And today, I have another story to share. And if you have a breakup story you'd like to share, please visit writemac.com, W-R-I-T-E-M-A-C.com, and send your story in, and possibly I'll do a response to your story just like this in a YouTube video. And if you'd like to take it a step further, get some further clarity, you could book a live coaching session. We could talk for about an hour to two hours, sometimes three hours, and really get to the bottom of what's going on and find a way for you to start moving forward. If you've got a comment to add to this video or this story to help this individual out or anyone else out there going through a breakup, please put it below. If you like the video, throw me a like. Otherwise, let's get into it. Lich. Hey, Mac, I want to thank you for a much needed advice for your much needed advice. Well, thank you for saying thank you. I was in a long distance relationship for almost a year. I ended up, I ended it on the 28th of November 18. Okay, so we are almost into February. So we got one month, two months, a month and a half. I was giving so much, but wasn't, recip but wasn't reciprocating. I was giving so much, well, that's a bad feeling. I got fed up and told, told how her ex has her fucked up. I got, I got fed up and told her how X has her fucked up. Okay, I don't understand that sentence. We worked it out before. I left to go back home. She said, how about we take some time and space? I agreed. I waited a week and called her. She then told me she's still having a hard time getting over what I said. I told her how her ex has her fucked up. Okay, so I'm sorry. Now I get it. I told her how her ex has her fucked up. So her ex prior to your relationship, you think fucked up your relationship in the way she looks at things. Quite possible, but um, I would have to know in what way you're talking about. I agreed. I waited a week and called her. She then told told me she's still having a hard time getting over what I said. I told her I understand, but then texted her that the next day just saying I hope she's doing well. The day after, next, I texted her with a chase type of text. So you mean chasing her. It was basically me trying to figure out if we were still together. She replied back by saying, I'm not moved. That's a bad place to be that you're not, you're not sure if you're together, especially as the guy. She replied back by saying, I'm not moving on. I'm in... I'm in no rush to, I need a change of heart and I don't know how long it's going to take. She's in full control at this point, you realize. You have a lot going on. You need to put your energy into those things. I panicked. So she's telling you, you had a lot of things going on. She's suggesting you put your energy on this. So now she's testing you. I panicked. Panic is a bad word. Ooh. I said, how do I deserve, how do, how I deserve better from her to tell me out of her mouth that it was over? Well, I mean, yeah. if you think you deserve better, then you should be the one breaking up with her. I recognized how she used me. If you think she used you, you should be the one breaking up with her. You never want to be used. No, 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 no. She called me instantly, which basically turned into us having our first fight. I waited a week and called to tell her that I had gifts for her child. So your way of contacting her was gifts for her child after a week of no contact. The call was short and cool. I called again in a folder and f told her how I felt. She told me, what do you want me to say? I was hurt. She also stated how I was supposed to, to be it for her. I tried to convince her that I was trying to fix it. She didn't care. Come Christmas, I ended up going to her house to drop her daughter's gifts off. I asked to talk, and she hit me with, I care for you. I just don't feel anything. Dun, dun, dun. That hurts, man. That hurts. And she's basically saying that she's not highly attracted to you. She's connected to you, but, she, you know, she doesn't feel anything. My heart was done after that. I know I should have gone into no contact after the fight. I don't know if that's, you know, you look at that as a fight, but that took a lot of guts for her to tell you the truth. And if she doesn't feel anything and she's being honest, it's not her attempt to be to hurt you. It's her attempt to be clear with you. You know, she doesn't want you coming over trying to fix things up and she doesn't have that deep feeling for you. I reached out and you're and you're saying also, by the way, I'm doing everything and she's not giving me anything back. She's not reciprocating. 
that's your cue that she's not interested in being in a long-term relationship. It doesn't mean she's a bad person. It just means you guys aren't a good couple long-term. I reached out to her one more time and told her I really felt. She said, how come you didn't tell me this at the house? That she stated, I understand that it's from the heart, but I don't feel anything. Plus, you still haven't given me my space. Again, she's taking control. She doesn't feel anything for you. That's a big statement. The fact that she's talking to you, she cares about you as an individual. Um, and you need, you need to go in no contact for yourself. I replied, you're absolutely right. I'm going to give you your space. You don't, it's not that you need to give her her space. You need to give yourself some space to recalibrate where you're headed on this thing. That was on the 26th, and since then I haven't contacted her. I love this girl, but I got a lot of work to do on myself. I don't want to lose her. The attitude of I don't want to lose her is needy and weak and unattractive. You need to get to a point when you're doing work on yourself that you're at a point where you're like, you know what? Regardless if she comes back or not, I got shit going on in my life. I got work to do. It's not just on yourself. It's on a purpose outside of this relationship. If you have an attitude like I don't want to lose her, the thing is, I don't know what you lost if she's saying that I don't feel anything for you. The fact that you love, I, I love this girl. This is going to be hard for you to swallow. It doesn't sound like she loves you in the same way you love her. And in the beginning, you're saying like, almost like it's not fair. But in reality, she's just being honest that it's not there for her. Please know, let me know what I should do. You're not going to like this answer. He says, plus we're 10 years apart. I'm 38 and she's 28. Well, that's fine. You're not going to like this answer, but you need, to, you need to go into no contact, all social media, and go you know, do the work on myself. When I say do the work on yourself, that doesn't mean you're doing work to impress her. You're doing work on yourself to get her back. You're just doing work on yourself because you want to be a better individual and be able to come out of this breakup better, right? The idea that you're, you're spun because she's not loving you or caring or reciprocating what you're doing for her, that's not, at a certain level, if someone's not reciprocating the level of love and care and affection that you are, that's not their fault. It's your job to go, you know what? There's 7 billion people in the world or 6 billion people in the world. I can find someone else that will reciprocate the kind of love I'm giving. And you gotta reframe that and you gotta learn from it. So. I hope that helps you. Please visit rightmac.com if you've got a breakup story you want to share or if you'd like to book a live coaching session moving forward. Thank you for supporting the channel.